Here is my F550 with the DJI Zenmuse GoPro gimbal mounted. I have it mounted on this thing called the Batwing and it's put out by Iris Aerial. It's pretty good. Um, he's got a 551 um, and a 451 and I just simply mounted it on these two front legs and just cut up a mouse pad for some rubber dampening and use the standard um, dampening balls and we're going to start off that way so now I'm going to power up the 550 and you're going to see how it'll self level um, it's pretty cool so I'm going to power up the 550 let's see if I can do this uh, with, without holding the phone I'm not doing a bad job here I'm going to power it up and then I'll show you how the uh, camera is going to work. So let's power it up. So there you go. The camera just leveled itself and went to the last known position on my transmitter. And if we zoom over here, uh, you can see I have it tied to a knob. And I can tilt it all the way down. Or I can tilt it all the way up which I think is really cool and um, you can do some pull away shots I can go all the way fully fully down which I think is really really going to be handy um, very nice I'm, I'm so far I'm pleased one thing to know the Wukong M uh, has its intelligent orientation controls on the X2 channel the X2 channel is also the tilt channel for the DJI uh, Zenmuse gimbal. And they know about it. I emailed them and said, guys, I've got a Wukong, and I would love to use the intelligent orientation control with this gimbal. And they said, yeah, we know about it, and we'll fix it in a future update. So I think that really sucks. Um, you know, they should really pay attention to this kind of thing because they just hobbled my Wukong. But I'm going to test it, um, I'm going to test it, you know, playing around with the different tilts. I don't use the intelligent orientation controls too much. I do use the return to home a lot, and that's hobbled in uh, version 5.2.2 of the firmware, so that's broken too. So they got two things that are broken um, for all this money that I spent. The other thing is that they don't supply a mounting bracket for the 550, and I think that's just really weak. And I have to use, you know, a $20... Um, you know, a $20 mount here to, to, to get this thing to mount on, you know, so they're clearly not thinking right, or they're trying to phase out the 550. It may not be popular, and they want people to go for the Phantom or for the 450, and uh, the 550, uh, maybe they don't want to be dealing with this size anymore. I don't know. I mean, you don't have any luxury with it. it you know, it's still tight. Um, if I can pan around here... Uh, you can see it's tight in there. I, I mean, I had to use some Jedi mind tricks to figure out how to get this thing in and, and, and get it all secure. Uh, where is it? Oh, yeah, it's right in there. I don't know if you can see it. Um, you know, and then I have it, uh, you know, hooked in, as, as, as the instructions say. It's not very heavy. That's another thing that's really a plus. And I'm going to get this thing outside right now and give it a go.